In this lesson, we are going to build an analog stopwatch using loops and variables and something called Boolean expressions. We are going to start with a seconds variable, which will change by 0.1 seconds every 0.1 seconds. This will make the time start ticking. We will also need to round it to one decimal so that it shows seconds and tenths of seconds only. And because there are 60 seconds in a minute, we will write a condition to say that if the seconds variable is greater than 60, the minute variable will change by one and the seconds variable will be reset to zero. Once the time ticks away and displays as it should, we need to start making the second hand of the clock move at the right speed. To do that, we need to work out the angle with which the second hand needs to move each 0.1 seconds. There are 360 degrees in a circle and 60 seconds in a minute. So every second, the angle of the second hand must change by 360 divided by 60. That is six degrees. We'll write code to say that the angle should be set to the value of the seconds variable, times six. We are then going to use Boolean expression to code start and stop buttons for the stopwatch. Boolean expressions have just two possible values, true or false. We will write code to say that when we click on start, the timer running variable will be set to true. That means the code will be executed. When we click stop, it will be set to false, so the time won't tick. We will also need to add code to the timer event to say that the second counter and second hand will only change when the timer running variable is set to true. Finally, we will add a reset button. When we click it, the timer running variable will be set to false and the seconds counter and second hand will be reset to zero. Now you have a working analog stopwatch that can be started, stopped and reset to zero. What will you use it for?